Now, see, many people think uh, to develop our countries and Africa that the government, the government would do it. I don't believe so. It's not the it's not the work of the government to to build a country. It's the work of government to create the enable enabling environment to allow you and me to start doing things. Okay. Yes, I know our governments are not creating the good, the best environment, but there are things that people can still do today. No matter how hard it is, there are things that people can do today. You are doing your own, okay? So tell so young Africans what they can do to impact their communities. Thank you very much. And I actually like this uh, session or question because it's one of the main reasons why some youth in on the continent, especially in comparison with other parts of the world, feel the, the, the sense of despair or loss of hope for the future. So to motivate or to encourage all of us, I will say, African youth or young men and women should try and educate themselves. We should try and get education. It's mostly said from our Ghanaian perspective that education is the key. Yeah, and sometimes some people, some people joke with it by saying now the door has been changed. So you have the key and there is no, there is no door that the key is opening, but at least try and educate. And we shouldn't restrict our education. For instance, my field, this is in the area of international affairs and diplomacy, and it gives me a glo global perspective on the national views to study other areas and other parts of the world. So we shouldn't restrict ourselves. We should educate ourselves, add more value to ourselves, and it will open doors and opportunities for us. We should also try and get involved, like you said, either by talking, by writing, whatever, if it's peaceful protest, whatever, we shouldn't say, oh, there are some people, even when it gets to electioneering period in Africa, they say, I'm not voting, I'm tired, we have been voting year in year, so we don't see the dividends, we don't see the benefits. This, this, we need political representatives to champion our goals, vision, and agenda. So if you don't take part and the bad person is selected or elected into power, the decisions and the actions they take will consequently can be affected. So we should get yeah. involved. Yeah. No matter how you get involved, either by writing, by uh, talking, whatever you do, you should get involved at the community level, at the national level, at the grassroots level. Everywhere you find yourself, just get involved. And we yeah. should try also network. Network, we should build good networking opportunities. We should identify mentors and try and understand them. I have a lot of people mentoring me and uh, it has paved way for me to have other opportunities. As I mentioned, I work with some stakeholders in the AU, ECOWAS, UN, and all these things came about through my networking. So Very the more good. you network and getting to meet someone like you, giving me this platform, maybe after having this podcast, other people will also engage me. And the network keeps growing and it's paying me to try and stay informed. The only way you read books, read them, yeah, we should read. You, they say readers are leaders, so you should read. Oh, yeah. If you want to stay informed, because when you try and stay informed, that's when you try and understand the dynamics, the trends, the patterns, and you try and really understand the complexities and the nuances in some government decisions, some decisions by the juntas and all those things, the geopolitics and how it's influencing yeah. international relations and everything. It comes by reading. You can't just be there and be. I'm not saying social media is bad, but it seems a lot of use on, on the continent they are swayed away by social media. Yeah, yeah. Spending much time more, more adding more value to our lives. So at least we should try and get it from like reading, reading, and reading fast and wide. Wow. See, I'm telling you, your advice is very different from most of my guests, but I tell you, it's as valuable as start a business. No, see, 
knowledge. They say knowledge is power, and people think it's just a cliche, but I know it's not. The only thing I have is my desire to know. I'm telling you, that's the only thing I have. My desire to know. And it has opened many, many doors just by asking questions. And it has opened a lot of doors for me. And it will also open a lot of doors for many, many young Africans if they have that desire to know. And of course, the only way you know things that didn't happen around you is either, either read, uh, uh, read a book, read a, a, an article, or watch a video, okay? So reading is my, is my passion, reading. See, if you see my, my, my room, books everywhere. This table, I have books everywhere. So yeah, I love your advice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.